Welcome to an AccessLearningZone.com free tips and tricks. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to convert from numbers to dates. Sometimes if you inherit someone else's database, they might have the dates stored as numbers, such as 990105, and we have to convert those into proper access dates. This is an advanced lesson that's taken from my Access 309 class. And some portions of it have been edited to cut down on time so I can fit it on YouTube in the 10 minute limit. Okay, this question came to me from one of my customers. He says, Rick, he said, I just inherited a database that has a whole bunch of date fields in it that are numbers. Perhaps the person imported a legacy database from some old system or maybe imported from an Excel spreadsheet. And someone typed in, instead of using actual date fields in Access, they used a number field format for this. So how do I convert this to a date format, he says. Well, here's how you do it. First, let's create a table that's got bad data in it. All right, so I'll go to Tables, New, Design View. All right, we'll just make it perhaps, um, you know, our customer ID. That'll be our auto number. Maybe, um, you know, a customer name. All right, that'll be a text field. And then how about customer date of birth? And they made it a number, okay, of type long integer. Okay, so I'll save this. I'll call this uh, bad date table, bad date T. There is no primary key defined. Yes, go ahead, let access define it. That'll be the customer ID. And let's put some bad data in. All right, so we've got Joe with a date of birth of 72-10-01. Okay, that's how they're doing the date. All right, we've got Mike as, uh, let's say, 80-01-02. All right, we've got Bill as 69-03-11, and so on, right? Sue, maybe 92-01-01. And how about one more, Paul? We'll do 87.06.05. There. All right, so they're storing them as dates, year, month, day. Okay, so I've got my table here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a query to fix this thing, to straighten this out. Okay? And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to put this in a separate field, in a second field just so we can see how they work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Design View real quick. And let's make a new customer, VOB. We'll make that a date field. And that'll be the fixed version. Okay, so I've got somewhere to put the data. Yeah, you could just overwrite this, but for now I just, as an instructional thing, I want you to see both fields. All right, so let's save that. I'm going to close it. Let's go back to our database window. Let's now go to Queries and then New, and then we'll go to Design View. Let's bring our bad date table in, the one we just made. Now, I don't care about the ID and the name, but what I do want is the customer DOB. Bring that in here. And if I run my query at this point, you'll see there's the date of births. Now, back to Design View. What I want to do is I want to manipulate this into something that looks like a real date. Now, the way that it's set up now is the first two digits of the year. So I'm going to create a new field over here. Okay, I'm going to call this my new date, colon. We've done this before. We did this way back in Access 220 when I covered calculated query fields, right? We made sum, colon, field 1 plus field 2. We could do the same thing with text. Okay, now for this, what I want to do is I want to say, okay, I want to put the left two digits of my date field here. So we're going to use the left function. Now we learned the left and right functions, how to work with strings in the last class, Access 308. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here the left of, and then in, and then parentheses, the customer DOB comma 2. Okay? So the new date field right now is going to be set to the left of the customer date comma 2. Okay? And that should give me just the year. Let's take a peek. I'm going to run the query. And there we go, we got just a year. Okay? But the year should actually go last. Okay? What I've got here is year, month, day. I want the day first. All right, US standard. 
So now the day is actually the right to. So I'm going to say, give me the right of customer DOD, comma, two, and put an ampersand in there to concatenate those strings together. All right, we learned about string concatenation way back in Access 104. All right, we made our contact query. So now I've got the right to followed by the left to. Let's see what this looks like. Look at that. The right two characters followed by the left two characters. So now I've got the day and I've got the year. Now we need to get that month out of the middle. Well, to get something out of the middle of a string, we're going to use the mid string function. So I'm going to say right here, I've got the left, I've got the right, and I've got the mid of customer DOB, comma, how far in? I want the third character in, comma, two characters long. That's how that one works. How far in do you want to go, and then how many characters at that point? So you need actually three bits of information. All right, the mid, comma, three, comma, two. Let's take a peek and see what we got. And there it is, 01, 10, 72. I just reversed it, right? 02, 01, 80. All right, because this is year, day, year, month, day. Now I'm going day, month, year. Now that's still not in a format that Access can easily convert over to date. So we need to add some slashes in here, right? And that's just a matter of string concatenation. And quote, slash, quote, ampersand, right? We're just adding to our string. I'm putting the slash in there, OK? And we need one after here, too. We need the ampersand with the slash in there inside of quotes. I'm just building a big text string. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. All right, a 1, 10, 72. Okay, now I don't want to just have a new column and a query on this. I want to take this information. I want to stick it in that new customer date of birth field that I created in my table. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Watch this. We're going to switch this over to an update query. All right, an update query. Okay, we learned about update queries back in Access 222 when we covered update, append, delete, make table, and all those different types of action queries. Okay. So I'm going to sneak up here and change my query type to an update query. Okay. Now, what field do I want to update? I want to update new customer date of birth. So I'm going to bring that into the query. And what do I want to update it to? Well, I want to update it to all this stuff. Now, I can't just type a new date down here. The query sometimes will give you an error if it's not something that it recognizes. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff right here, my right, mid, all that stuff here. I'm going to cut it out, snip, and I'm going to paste it. Oops. This one here is invalid, so I'm going to hit OK. This is invalid now. Delete the rest of that. I'm going to paste it down here in the Update To box. All right, see how I did that? Now I can get rid of this column. Delete. So what am I saying here? I'm saying I'm going to take the new customer date of birth, and I'm going to update it to my statement that I made. Right, right, plus that, plus min, plus that. OK, so let's try that. Let's run the query. All right, nothing appears to happen. Let's go check the table. Tables, bad date T, and there we go. See that? And now this is a proper access date, 11072. All right, or I can change it to, you know, 031272, and we're good. Okay, now I can, if I want to, I can get rid of this customer DOB, or you can leave it in there. All depends. I'll get rid of it. Customer DOB, delete, yes. And now we just have the correct date of birth in an access date format. I hope you enjoyed this free tip. You can learn more about access on my website at accesslearningzone.com slash tips. And if you decide to order any of my tutorials, use order code YouTube172 and get a 25% discount on anything you order.